Now it's time to install MongoDB on our local machine. Let's go to the browser and go to the mongodb.com website. Just hover on products tab and under database category we have enterprise server and community server and community server is the free one and it is more than enough for local development. So just click on community server. It will take us to the page where we can download the setup file. So here Windows operating system is pre-selected and if you are in Mac it will select the Mac OS by default. And here we have the two options MSI and chip. MSI install package is the most convenient one. So we are going to download the MSI package. Just click on download button. It is about 288 MB size. So it takes bit time. So let me pause it and continue once it is done. So download completed. Just click on MSI package. Click on next. I accept next select custom and just expand this and select all four server is responsible for serving our databases and storing the data client is the tool that we use in our local mission to connect to the server and also runs commands against the server now just click on next here is the important screen and by default this checkbox is checked and it will install MongoD as a service which means it will install the MongoD as a Windows service and this makes MongoDB server to run in the background automatically and we don't need to run it manually. Data directory path Like any other databases, MongoDB2 stores the data somewhere on your system. It manages the data storage for you, but ultimately it will end up storing the data in the files in your system. So data directory is the path where files will be stored and log directory is the path where the logs will be stored. And install MongoDB compass. And if you'd like to install this MongoDB compass separately, you can install it, but it comes with this MongoDB installation. So Keep it checked and just click on next. Install. It asks for the permission. Click on S. Now the MongoDB installation is completed. Click on finish. And this is the compass and it is just started. As of now, just close this. Let's go to the services and see the MongoDB service. So services and just select M. So here somewhere you need to see MongoDB service. There we go. Here we have the MongoDB server is running as a service. You can stop it by just right clicking and stop. And this will stop the MongoDB server too. Now we won't be able to send any commands to the MongoDB server. And now just right click and start. Then you can start the server. And Alternatively, we can start and stop the service using command prompt too. So open the command prompt as a administrator, right click, run as administrator and just use the command net stop mongodb and it will stop the mongodb service. Mongodb server service was stopped successfully and to start it simply we can say instead of stop simply say start and it is going to start the mongodb service. There we go, the MongoDB server service was started successfully. Now we are done with installing the MongoDB server and now it's time to connect to the server. Remember, we have discussed that we need to use the MongoDB client to connect to the server. So for that, go to the C drive, program files, MongoDB server and 5.0 is the version that we have installed and go to the bin folder and bin is the folder where we are going to have all the exe files right so here we have mongo.exe so just double click on it so we have launched our client and now it's time to execute the commands we can use the command cls to clear the window here we can use the command show dps and this is going to show all the databases that were already installed press enter 
it's going to show the dbs like admin config local and these are all used for the configuration of the mongodb server or mongodb database so now we have successfully connected to the mongodb server and